Good afternoon, everyone. You're now with me, Emmanuel Ruben, in the segment of the new news, 9th November editions. Various approaches have been implemented by the government to help overcome the problem of drug abuse in the state. Programs on drug dangers are implemented to all ages, aim at educating the public to be aware and aware of the danger of drugs. According to the Minister of Welfare, Community Welfare, Women, Family and Development, Datuk Sri Fatimah Abdullah said, until October 26, 2017, 89 drug prevention education programs involving 9,000 peoples were implemented by the government with the cooperation and support of the NGOs, the State Department of Sarawak. For 2017, she said AAD Care has involved 182 secondary schools in Sarawak to run Sayang Hidup Elak Derita Selamanya program. She said this at the 18th session of the State Assembly on answering questions from Adun Saribas Razi Hitam. She added that during the period January to September 2017, a total of six major syndicates in Sarawak were successfully arrested. Various packaging and branding courses have been implemented by the Ministry of Industrial Development and Entrepreneurship for information sharing and ongoing guidance as such as holding a discussion session on packaging and branding development to help small and medium entrepreneurship. Deputy Minister of Industrial Development and Entrepreneur Dato Narudin Majai said apart from courses, the government also encouraged entrepreneurs to obtain grants for packaging and branding upgrades through various state government agencies. He added that SME Corp also offered assistance under the Bumiputra Enterprise Enhancement Program and the Business Accelerator Program to develop product packaging as well as guidance for packaging and branding designed towards the halal certification. He said this in response to the questions of Lambe Assemblyman YB Ripin Lamad at the Atin Sarawak State Assembly sitting this morning. In addition, he said, the ministry also worked with entrepreneurs' agencies such as SEDC, MARA, MARDI, SIRIM, JAIS, and Department of Agriculture Sarawak and Pharma for product development purposes. While improving its marketing process, his ministry has developed Anjung Sahawan, Sarawak Product Pavilion in Kuala Lumpur as well as other programs such as One District, One Industry, Sarawak Entrepreneur Showcase, Midweek Company and Brunei Consumer Fair. Well, that wraps up our noon news for today. I'm Manu Ruben. Thank you for watching and please stay tuned for news and updates in tvsarawak.com anytime, anywhere.